This is big. Um, we're talking about a technology, well, it's supposed to make driving safer. Right, but right. a new investigation suggests the reality might be a lot more complicated. That's right. Than, you know. Yeah, we're diving into Tesla's full self-driving system. Okay. Specifically, how it handles low visibility situations. Interesting. The National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, the NHTSA, right, is looking into a number of crashes involving Tesla vehicles. Okay. Using FSD. Using FSD. In conditions like sun glare, mm -hmm. fog. Oh wow. Even dust storms. And it's not just. Like fender benders, right? These are unfortunately, yes. Serious accidents. The NHTSA's investigation, which officially started on October 17th, okay, is focusing on four specific crashes mm -hmm. where Teslas okay. running on FSD were involved in collisions after encountering, you know, right those tricky visibility conditions. Mm. And tragically, one of those crashes resulted in a fatality. Oh, geez. While another led to a serious injury. Okay, so four crashes might not sound like a lot. In right. the grand scheme of things, but sure. the NHTSA seems to be looking for a pattern here, something beyond just these individual incidents. Absolutely. They're digging deeper, trying to figure out if there's something fundamentally flawed in how Tesla's FSD system is designed to detect and respond to these low visibility scenarios in the first place. Wow. They want to know, does this system have the necessary engineering controls to handle these situations effectively. It's almost like we're discovering a blind spot. Right. In the technology, yeah. which is kind of ironic, given yeah. what it's supposed to do. Exactly. And what's striking is how many vehicles might be affected. Right. This isn't just about a handful of cars. Wow. We're not just talking about the latest models either. Okay. This investigation covers a surprisingly wide range, from the 2016 Model S and Model X. Okay. The 2017 to 2024 Model 3. Wow, okay. And the 2020 through 2024 Model Y, all the way to the futuristic 2023-2024 Cybertruck. The Cybertruck, oh my gosh. So for you, this isn't just a tech story, it's personal. Mm -hmm. You've got a Model X, right? I do, What's yeah. going through your mind hearing this? I Honestly, it's a little unnerving, you know? Yeah. My Model X is my baby. Right. I mean, I knew there were some risks, like sure. with any new technology, especially oh. something as complex as self-driving. Right. But to think that something as basic as yeah. fog could throw it off is... It's wild, isn't it? Pretty concerning. Yeah, and it's easy to get caught up in the excitement right. of what this technology off. could be. Right. But this investigation yeah. really brings us back down to earth. Yeah. It forces us to confront those what-ifs totally. that we might not want to think about. Yeah, it's like we're so busy looking ahead mm -hmm. to a world of fully driverless cars, like something out of a sci-fi movie, right. that we forget that even the most advanced systems today exactly. still need to be able to handle those everyday situations that are actually really hard for computers to deal with. 100%. Mm. And these low visibility scenarios. Yeah. They're not exactly rare occurrences. No, not at all. Think about it. We've all experienced driving through fog. Totally. Dealing with sudden sun glare. Oh, yeah. Or even encountering those dust clouds kicked up by trucks on the highway. Ugh, tell me about it. I was driving through the mountains last week. Right. Sun in my eyes. Yeah. And my car's lane assist nearly sent me into a ditch. Oh, wow. And that's with me behind the wheel, supposedly in control. Right. And that... It's Gary. And that highlights the challenge here. Well, we as humans, I mean, we rely on a lifetime of experiences, both good and bad, yeah. to help us navigate those hazards. For sure. But how do you even begin to teach a car to see and react appropriately Right. in those situations? I don't know. I mean, it's one thing to program a system to recognize a stop sign on a clear day. Sure, like those CAPI TCA tests online. Right. Click all the pictures with bicycles. Exactly. But how do you teach it? to interpret the subtle changes in like and shadow that might indicate a pedestrian oh. crossing the road in dense fog. Oh, gosh. Or to understand that what looks like a clear path ahead might actually be obscured by a dust cloud. That's the million-dollar question, isn't it? Yeah, and I imagine that's a question that Tesla is going to have to answer. For sure. And pretty convincingly. Yeah. If they want to reassure drivers like you and me right. that their cars are safe. Absolutely. If there's one thing the NHTSA is known for, it's their thoroughness. Yeah. They're not going to just take Tesla's word for it. Right. They'll want to see concrete evidence that Tesla is taking these concerns seriously. Right. And making the necessary improvements to their technology 
to ensure both driver and pedestrian safety. So we're not just talking about like tweaking a few lines of code here. This could have much broader implications. Really? This investigation could force Tesla. Wow. And maybe even the entire automotive industry. To rethink how they approach testing and validating these systems in the first place. Wow. Okay. It's not just about getting those self-driving cars on the road right. as quickly as possible. It's about making sure that they're truly ready for the unpredictable realities of the real world. Right, because at the end of the day, it's not just about getting from point A to point B. Exactly. It's about getting there safely. Right? Precisely. Yeah. And this case also highlights the importance of transparency. Oh, interesting. Tesla has been relatively tight-lipped about their FSD technology. Okay. Compared to some other companies working on autonomous vehicles. Right. This investigation might force them to be more open about how the system works, okay. its limitations, and the steps they're taking to address these safety concerns. It's like that old saying, sunlight is the best disinfectant. Right. The more information that's out there, exactly. the better equipped everyone will be, consumers, regulators, even other companies in the industry, to make informed decisions about the future of this technology. 100%. Uh, and just to be clear, yeah, this isn't about halting progress or demonizing autonomous driving. Right. It has incredible potential. Right. It's about making sure that progress happens responsibly with safety at the forefront. I like that. And speaking of responsibility. Yeah, this whole thing really makes you wonder, where does the responsibility lie if something goes wrong? That's the billion dollar question, isn't it? Right. And it's one that lawmakers, regulators, yeah. and the courts are all grappling with right now. Right. I mean, if a human driver makes a mistake, right. we have systems in place to determine, you know, right fault and liability. Of course. But when it's a computer making the decisions, right. things get a lot more complicated. Yeah, especially with a technology like FSD, yeah. where it's marketed as full self-driving. Right, right. But Tesla still puts the onus on the driver to be alert and ready to take control at any moment. Yep. That feels like a bit of a gray area, doesn't it? It's a huge gray area. Right. And it's one that this NHTSA investigation could shed some light on. Okay. They're not just looking into the technology itself. Mm -hmm. They're also looking into Tesla's marketing practices, mm -hmm. you know, driver education materials. Okay. And how they've designed the system to interact with human drivers. Wow. Are they being clear about the capabilities and limitations of FSD? Right. Are they setting realistic expectations for drivers? I see. These are all questions that the NHTSA will want answers to. So what happens next? Does Tesla just hand over a bunch of data and hope for the best, or...? It's definitely not that simple. Okay. Tesla will have to cooperate with the investigation, of course, okay. providing data logs, yeah. software versions. Right. And potentially even making engineers available for questioning. Wow. But um, they'll also likely be mounting their own defense, you know, yeah. highlighting the overall safety record of their vehicles. Right. And potentially pointing to external factors that might have contributed to these crashes. And I'm guessing the NHTSA will be taking a pretty close look at those four specific crash reports we talked about earlier. Absolutely. Those reports will be key pieces of evidence in this investigation. Okay. And they're publicly available, by the way. Oh, cool. If you're interested in, you know, really digging into the details. Right. You can search for those report numbers we mentioned on the NHTSA website. Oh, cool. Always good to do your own research. Right. But it sounds like this story is far from over. Right. This could drag on for months, even years, right? This isn't a quick fix situation. Yeah. The outcome of this investigation could have major implications. Right. For Tesla, for the entire auto industry. Right. And even for you as a Tesla owner. Wow. It could lead to changes in how FSD is regulated. Yeah. How it's designed and tested. Right. And potentially even how it's marketed to consumers. So what does this all mean for you? Well, for one, don't throw out your driver's license just yet. Even the most advanced cars on the road still require a human at the wheel, ready to take over at a moment's notice. And maybe, just maybe, yeah. this investigation will remind all of us that technology, while powerful, isn't infallible. That's a good point. As we navigate this increasingly automated world, right. it's up to all of us to stay informed, ask critical questions, yeah. and never take safety for granted. Words to drive by. That's all the time we have for today's deep dive. Until next time, stay curious, stay safe, and keep those headlights on.